keep waiting for the uh, mercury here on the thermometer to start dropping on us, but uh, it's not doing it just yet. Temperatures are still stuck at 51 degrees. Southerly wind, 5 to 10 miles an hour, no wind chill to speak of. Let us remember that we could go all the way back now, even to as late as Saturday. We had a wind chill at this location at the airport that was colder than 20 below zero. That's more than 70 degrees of a difference over the course of these last few days, and the surge of warm air is not done with us yet. We're going up tomorrow. High temperatures, now whether we get there or not remains to be seen. That'll be dependent on if we can get some partial sun. Even if we don't get to 60, we're going to be in that ballpark, middle and upper 50s. That will be our warmest day tomorrow since November 12th, a month and a half ago. New Year's Eve festivities, still going to be warm, warmish, right around 50 degrees, but your big headline on Saturday is is going to be more the wet weather that will be around. Wet weather then takes a backseat going into New Year's Day. Our January 1st starts off still mild, relatively speaking, with high temperatures in the 40s and probably not that much in the way of rainfall. That'll come back into the early part of next week. Evening hour planner here, uh, probably settling low to mid 40s. That to me feels fair, and it's because we still have a good amount of cloud cover out there. Serving as a blanket, southerly flow is still there. Very limited opportunity for all of today's accumulated warmth to rapidly and readily escape into space here. So this is going to be one of those very mild nights that I don't think you're going to have to run the heaters at all. Big storm system. Boy, hasn't that been the case for the last few weeks? These lows have been highly amplified. They are strong. They are potent. Out ahead of this guy, we start to pull in Gulf of Mexico moisture. We've got ongoing rainfall here east of Texas, so long and west of the Mississippi. That will then start to work its way toward the Ohio River and then eventually into the Great Lakes in the western New York region. Region to an extent tomorrow, but really most of this for a lot of you holding off until Saturday. Future view overnight tonight. There's your 40s and you see how we get a couple of showers in here, mainly west of Rochester tomorrow. There will not be much. The main event in terms of wet weather is going to be Saturday. Showers are around in the morning scattered. They will still be there going into the afternoon, the evening, all the way through midnight. Rain looks like a pretty decent bet around here. Looks like about a 70% chance at midnight here going into Saturday night. I guess technically Sunday morning once that clock strikes midnight with temperatures around 45 degrees. Overall rain accumulation out of this half an inch, maybe around two thirds should do it for most of the area. We do not have any risk of flooding whatsoever in the Rochester area. Now we do in Buffalo because all that snow has got to go somewhere and it's all that pent up water that is embedded within that. But uh, if those numbers end up playing out, we keep this under an inch. The fact that this snow melt has been gradual. There will be very limited issues with flooding, but that's all it will be. None of that will end up being significant, and we keep it nice and warm even into next week. We will be back after the break.